Today's topic, how does manifestation work? How does it work? How do you manifest? And today I want to show you how manifestation works with a simple example. It's kinda like pizza. <laughs> or let's say it's kinda like ordering pizza. When you want to know how to manifest, how to manifest a new relationship, how to manifest the love of my life, how to manifest more money, how to manifest my dream job, how to manifest my dream vacation, how to manifest a horse. I don't care what you want to manifest. The principle is the same for all manifestations that you create and that you then turn into your reality. And it all starts with pizza. You order your pizza with a friendly voice and smile on your face. Let's say you don't use a delivery app, but you call the restaurant and you want to order a pizza. How do you order your pizza? Do you scream in the phone, hey, can you please give me my pizza? I want it now, fast, come on, read, read. Of course not. You call with a friendly voice, you call with a smile on your face, and you politely order your pizza. And the same is true for your manifestation. If you curse at the universe, universe, why am I still poor? I want money, give me money. Then you won't receive the money because the universe thinks, huh, that person doesn't have a good vibration. And hmm, if that person only knew that raising your vibration allows you to become a vibrational match of what you want. And if this person had only invested in the vibration rocket program, which would then allow this person to raise their vibration, oh yeah, then the money would come. But this way, nah. And at the same time, money thinks, oh my god, that person is aggressive. I don't want to be with somebody who hates me. I mean, hey, he or she is talking about poverty all the time and about blah, 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 and complaining. Nope, not going to go to this person. That's true for money. That's true for your pizza. It's true for everything in life. If you order your manifestation from the universe in a way where you resent the universe, where you resent yourself, where you feel stuck, where you feel negative emotions, where you feel unworthy of what you're asking for, then you won't get it. In the same way as if you would scream if you want to order a pizza, this person will probably hang up and not deliver the pizza to you. But if you are friendly and if you are in a high vibration and if you then allow yourself to feel good and you then order from the universe, then you will get what you want to receive. And you are clear about what pizza you want. Do you want a pizza Hawaii? Do you want a pizza margarita? Do you want a pizza with eggs, with sausages, with spinach, whatever you might want? When you order a pizza, you are clear about what you want. I mean, you don't just call a pizza shop or a restaurant and say, give me pizza. And they are like, eh, okay, what pizza do you want? Eh, just pizza. That doesn't work. But if you know exactly what ingredients you want, then you will get it. And the same is true for your delivery from the universe. If you, for example, say, oh, universe, I feel so lonely, I want a relationship. I mean, to be honest, if you come from a place of negative emotions, of loneliness, then you first have to raise your vibration before you can manifest anything. And if you want to get access to a very easy and very simple but highly effective meditation program that allows you to easily raise your vibration, then you can click on the link in the description and find out more about the Vibration Rocket program. But let's go back to that example when it comes to your relationship. Let's say you want a relationship and you say, universe, give me a relationship. And the universe says, okay, you wanted any relationship. So you get a relationship with a really abusive guy who turns your life into one big hell. You don't love each other. He's not loving. He's not affectionate. You can't trust him. And it's one big mess. But hey, you wanted a relationship and the universe delivered a relationship. You didn't tell the universe that you want a happy relationship. You didn't tell the universe that you want a relationship with a guy you can trust. You didn't tell the universe that you want a relationship with a guy who's reliable, who's affectionate, who's loving, who's caring, who's empathic, who has the same values as you, who's compatible with you. The universe didn't know all these things. But if you tell the universe what you want, and if you're very, very specific about what you want, then the universe can give you what you want. And the same is true if you want to manifest a job. If you say, hey, universe, please give me a job, then you will get any job. But that doesn't mean that you will be happy with that job. 
But if you allow the universe to know what your dream job contains, what kind of things you want to do, who you want to work with, where you want to work, what salary you want to earn, then the universe can deliver in the same way as a restaurant can only deliver a pizza to you if you know exactly what kind of pizza you want. And you tell the chef or whoever takes your order what you want, you don't beg for it. Have you ever called in a restaurant and said, can you please, oh, can you please give me a pizza? Please, please, I want to make an order. Please, now. And they will say, eh, what? And the same is true if you back the universe. Because if you back the universe, please, please, I don't want to be poor anymore. I don't want to have money problems anymore. I don't want to deal with this poverty anymore. All the universe hears is poor poverty money problems and then you get more of poor poverty and money problems. But if you raise your vibration either with the Vibration Rocket program or you raise your vibration in many different ways that you can figure out on your own or you can also work with me as your manifestation coach and we can then raise your vibration together and if you want to find out more about that you can click on the second link in the description. But if you back the universe like hey I don't have this I'm so scared oh my god please give me that then you won't get it in the same way as if you tell the chef or whoever takes your order for your pizza in a way where you back this guy or back this woman that you finally want your delivery, they will be freaked out and say, eh, okay, see ya, boop. But if you are confident, if you are friendly, if you're in a high vibration, then you can speak it into existence. And what else do you do when you order a pizza? You wait. You wait for your pizza until it arrives. Have you ever ordered a pizza and then the pizza arrived after 15 minutes and you told the delivery guy at the door, what the hell's going on? I expected the pizza to be here in 60 seconds. Shame on you. No tip for you. Have you ever done that? Of course not. But a lot of deliberate creators do that with their manifestations. They are so impatient because they are so brainwashed by all these clickbait headlines of manifested now, right now, in one minute, in 60 seconds, in two seconds. But you would never do that with any other delivery. If you get something delivered, you know that it takes time until the process is finished. It takes time to make the pizza. It takes time to bake the pizza. It takes time to deliver it. And the same is true for your manifestation. So be patient. Or do you want to eat a raw pizza? No, you want to eat a crispy one, a delicious one. And the same is true for your manifestation. You don't want any raw, half-baked manifestation. You want the real deal. So wait until it arrives and raise your vibration until it arrives. Because when you are in a high vibration, then you allow the universe to deliver it faster. And then you are so grateful when you take the first bite. Because the first bite feels so, so good. But what you don't do when you eat a pizza is to take the first bite and say, hmm, that sucks. And then you eat the whole pizza and afterwards you say, oh, that was delicious. But that's exactly what a lot of deliberate creators do. They think about this big manifestation they want and then the first small manifestation shows up, the proof that they are in fact on the right path. And then they say, hmm, the big manifestation didn't show up. I'm disappointed. And by doing that, the house of cards breaks down. Because then their vibration goes down, they introduce resistance into the equation and then they won't be able to manifest what they want. And that's the equivalent of you getting your delicious pizza, biting in it and saying, oh, that's just a small piece, mm, that's disgusting. And then after you get the whole pizza in your belly and everything's already devoured, then you say, oh, now I'm satisfied. <laughs> Think about it. Really, really think about it. I know it's kind of a weird example, but that's what a lot of deliberate creators do. They are not satisfied with the small bite, with the first bite. They always want the big thing immediately. But this attitude will sooner or later make you sick, just like swallowing a whole pizza at once will make you sick. And you then order from the same pizza place again, because it was so good. Which is the equivalent of consistently working on your manifestation process. You don't just order from it once because it was so, so good and you finally received your manifestation. You want to do it again. I mean, let's face it. If you, for example, order from a restaurant and you really like it, the food is amazing. You order again and again. I do that all the time. I order from the same place almost, yeah, almost every day, basically. Or let's say a few times a week because the food is so, so good. And the same is true for your manifestation. Order every day, which means meditate every day, work on your manifestation process every day, use your affirmations every day, 
And every now and then you might also want to book a Skype coaching session with me because I will hold you accountable and share so many amazing techniques with you that you can use to manifest your dreams. And if you want to find out more about Skype coaching with me, the link is in the description. And what's the last thing you do when you order pizza again and again and again from the same place because it was so good? The next time you might order a different pizza using the same strategy. Yes, everything is energy. No matter if you want to manifest money, if you want to manifest a relationship, or if you want to manifest the horse that I mentioned in the beginning, it's all energy. The money, the relationship, and the horse Gwendolyn are all energy. You just need to work with energy. And like I said, if you want to work with me on that, I'm happy to help you to work with energy, to guide your energy in the direction that allows you to manifest your dreams, which then eventually allows you to become a powerful, deliberate creator. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please send out some love to the YouTube universe by giving this video a big, big thumbs up. And I would also appreciate it if you would leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think about my video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to click on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I release a new video for you.